So forget about these things, R is not required. Up to this, the calculations are sufficient. Whatever we have done, time taken 50, hourly rate 12. Time taken 50, hourly rate 12. Same thing, copy paste. If you spend one hour, the standard production must be 10 units. 30 was the standard time, but time taken is 36. He has taken 6 extra. Hello everyone, this is your other sir. Lecture in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session 4 of your topic called Cost Accounting. Under Cost Accounting, we are doing labor. Now, in labor, we are working problems. Now, this is your second or third session for your problems. Now, in today's session, we will work out two or three problems on labor so that you will understand if any extra adjustments are given, how to calculate. Everything we will understand in today's session. So what are the agenda? Agenda are very simple as you know the concept as well as problems. Now, problem number four. Now, under this, from the following calculate total wages earned under the wholesale plan and row one plan. Under the wholesale as well as row one plan, you are supposed to calculate. Now, basic wages, it is 12 rupees. Unit produced, see they have given what? Unit produced. Now, remember, if they have given unit produced means standard time we are supposed to calculate. Normally, actual time will be given, standard time will be given, but in this problem, they have given unit produced in the sense we have to calculate standard time. Now, time allowed for 100 units, 2 hours 30 minutes, time taken. So, these are the informations given to calculate your standard time. Now, standard time we are supposed to calculate. Standard time they have not given in the problem, but they have given informations. According to the information, we are supposed to calculate your standard time. Now, as per this, see, for example, time taken, rate per hour, RS, we can call it as HR, hourly rate. Now, time taken, it is given like, what is the time taken? In this, time taken is 50 hours. Time taken is 50 hours. Now, what is the standard time? Standard time, it is not given. So, standard time will be question mark. Now, what is the hourly rate? Hourly rate, it is nothing but 12 rupees. Now, time taken is 50 hours. So, these are the informations we have. If we get standard time, your problem will be done. We'll go for how to calculate your standard time. As per this, we have wholesale plan. Total earning is equal to, total earning is equal to, what is the formula for wholesale plan? The formula for wholesale plan, time taken into hourly rate plus half of time saved into hourly rate. Now, again, I'll repeat, what is the wholesale plan? The total earning is equal to time taken into hourly rate plus half of the time saved into hourly rate. Now, time taken is how much? We know that it is 50 hours. We have taken 50. Hourly rate is how much? In the question, it is given 12 rupees. So, we have considered 12. Half of time saved into hourly rate. Half it is in the formula, we copy that. Time saved, we have to find out. What is the formula for time saved? Standard time minus time taken. This is a formula for time saved. Standard time minus time taken is for time saved. Now, before that, we are supposed to find out what is your standard time. Now, Come back to your working note. Time taken, 50 hours, standard time. 
What is the information they have given? Two and a half hours, we can call it as 2.5. Two and a half hours, we can call it as 2.5. 2.5, it is for how many units? 100 units. What is the base? 100. The base is 100. So it's supposed to be here. Base is 100. 2.5 multiplied with how many units he is produced? He has produced 2400. Now, 2400 into 2.5 divided by 100, you will get 60 hours. Now, what is the number of hours he worked? He worked for 60 hours. Now, if you calculate your 60 hours is the standard time, your actual time, standard time is 60, time taken is 50, your answer will be 10. 60 minus 50, your answer is 10. Now, these are the calculations you have. 2 hours 30 minutes is equal to 150 minutes. 150 minutes is your answer. Now, so this is what means R. You can go for 2.5 also. You can go for 150 minutes also. Both you will get same answer. So forget about these things. R is not required. Up to this, the calculations are sufficient. Whatever we have done, this is sufficient. This is not required. This is optional. You can go for 2.5 RS if you want exact minutes like 2 hours 30 minutes. 2 hours means 120 minutes plus 30, it will be 150 minutes. If you calculate with 150 divided by 100 into 2400, you will get 3600 minutes. 3600 divided by per hour, how many minutes we have? 60. Now, 3600 divided by 60, your answer is 60 hours. Clear? Yes. Now, 60 hours we got, 60 minus 50 times saved is 10. Whatever we calculated here, the answer is 10. The same thing we have calculated. You can go for this also. You can go for this also. Option is yours. Any working out, you can do both are same. Now, time saved is 10. Hourly rate is 12. So 10 into 12, it is 120. So this will be how much? 660. The answer is 660. Now, this is all about your calculation. That is called your wholesale plan. Similarly, we'll go for your row one plan. What is the formula? Time taken into hourly rate plus time saved divided by standard time. Now, for this, time taken into hourly rate. Now, what will be your answer? Time taken, 50 hourly rate, 12. Time taken 50 hourly rate 12. Same thing, copy paste. Time saved. We already calculated it is 10 hours. Standard time 60. Now, if you simplify, you will get 700. You can go for wholesale plan also. You can go for row one plan also. The option it left to the company. Company go can go for wholesale. Company can go for even row one. So the answer will be what? It may be 700 if you go for row one plan. It may be 660 if you go for wholesale plan. Any doubt? Hopefully, no doubts. Now, the last problem for the day. So this one will be your problem number five. Now, as per this, from the following information, calculate the earning of workers under row one as well as wholesale. Plan. Now, as per this, name of the workers. So, there are Raju, Ram as well as Mohan. There are three persons are there. Out of this, actual time taken, it is 12, 24, 36. These are the time taken by three, these three persons. Now, actual output in the units, similarly like previous one, 2400 units. But in this problem, we have 300, 300 and 300. The time taken may vary, but number of units they have produced are same, 300 all. Now, as per this, 
Along with this, we have information. Hourly rate is rupees 10. 10 rupees per hour they are charging. Now, standard output per hour is 10 units. If you spend one hour, how many units you can produce? You can produce almost 10 units. What is the hourly rate of wages? It is 10 rupees. So these are the, in the previous problem you had 100. In this problem, what is the base? The base is 10. See, what is the calculation? First we'll go for calculation, later we'll come back for your answer. Remember, these are the working notes. Working note, time taken, Raju has taken 12 hours, Ram has taken 24, and Mohan has taken 36 hours. Now, as per this, hourly rate, if you go, what is the hourly rate? 10 rupee. The 10 rupee is called as hourly rate. Now, standard time is how much as per this? As per this, the standard time, standard output per hour is 10 hours. Standard time for 10 units are 1 hour. These are the information given in the question. If you spend 1 hour, the standard production must be 10 units. Now, standard time for 300 units. As I told you, what is the base? 10. How many units you can produce? For 1. So it will be 10 units per hour. 1 hour divided by 10 into 300. What is your answer? The standard time required is 30 hours. What is the standard time? 30 hours. Now I'll go back. Time taken into hourly rate, half of the time saved into hourly rate. Now, time taken, the first person is how much? 12. So, it is 12. Hourly rate is how much? 10. Take 10 plus half of the time saved. How come it is 18? I'll show you. So, what is the standard time we calculated? 30 hours. How much hour he has taken? 12. How much he saved? He saved 18 hours. So 18 multiplied with 10. It will be 180. Half of the 180 will be 90. This is 120. The total answer is 210. Hope you understood. Similarly, Ram, it is similarly we have 24 and 10. How many hours he saved? I'll go back to this. He has taken 24 hours. 30 minus 24, he saved 6 hours. So we have 6. 6 multiplied with 10, it will be 60. Half of the 60 will be 30. This will be 270. Any doubt? No doubt. Now, so Raju is over, Ram is over. Whatever is there in the right side, it is only working out. Now, the last person we call it as Mohan. Who is the last person? Mohan. Now, 36 multiplied with 10. Half of the nil. Why it is nil? The question is, what is the standard hour I have given? 30 hours. How many hours he has taken? He has taken 36. I have given him 30 hours, but he took 36. 6 hours extra he has taken. Can I give him any incentive? No. Can he get any bonus? No. Whatever time saved by him? Zero. He has not even saved. He has wasted six more hours. That's why his salary will be calculated like. So he has taken 36 hours into 10, 360. Whatever time saved? Zero into 10. This will be how much? Zero. Your answer is 310. Clear? If the time taken is more than standard time, then your time saved will be zero. Again, I'll repeat. If time taken is more than standard time, then the actual time saved will be zero. Now, I'll give you three hours to write your exam, but you took three and a half hours. So, whatever extra you have worked, I'll not value your paper. That is called your extra time taken. Now, so for the first person, the salary is 210. Second person salary is 270. And the third person salary is 360. Now, the same thing. 
there is a working out for this actual time taken is more than the standard time actual is 36 there is a actual standard time is 30 so mohan is paid a guaranteed time wages which is assured under whole supply only guaranteed 36 into 10 he will get here it will be zero extra is zero now earning is equal to time taken into hourly rate only 360 he will get he will not get any extra benefit like for others 24 hours they saved six hours for this extra 10 is not given for this person why because he has not saved he has wasted so these are the information they have given time saved for the first person 18 hours time saved for the second person it is six hours these are the working no don't be in confusion these are the working note so halsey plan we have completed now we'll come for the row one plan what is the row one plan total earning time taken into hourly rate time saved divided by standard time so it will be time taken into hourly rate so what is the time taken 12 hours what is the hourly rate 10 time saved 18 standard time 10 same thing will copy 12 into 10 120 120 18 by 30 your final answer will be 192 this is done with the first person called Raju similarly for Ram 24 multiplied with 10 24 multiplied with 10 240 240 so whatever time saved he saved 6 hours 6 by 30 it will be around you will get multiply if you will get around 288 clear yes similarly you will go for the last person called Mohan now 36 into 10 36 into 10 whether he has saved the time no 30 was the standard time but time taken is 36 he has taken 6 extra he has not saved the time so that's why what happens it will be 0 the whole calculation will become 0 what is his salary his salary is 360 first person he will get 2 288 first person will get 192 second person will get 288 and the third person will get 360 so what is the note for this time taken by worker mohan is more than the standard time same thing so he's paid a guarantee wages so there is no extra salary before i go for thank you i'll go for the all the slides you can take screenshot so this is your problem number four there is a question part this is a solution remember whatever is there in the right side all are working note whatever there in the left side all are problems the second part left side problem right side working note so this is your problem number five there are three persons are there this is your question the solution part left side pro answer right side working note right side i have done working note this is the left side is the answer right side is the working note your this is complete your working note only so this is your answer this is your answer this is your working note so this is all about your today's session hope you are learning the more and more about the chapter called labor now if there are three persons are there how to calculate if the standard time is not given how to calculate everything you are learning step by step will take another one or two sessions to complete this labor chapter thank you